no matter where we are. No matter how advanced the industry is, and what planet we can reach. From mountains to oceans, humanity's urban spaces are getting bigger and bigger, and the environment is getting worse. More storms, more floods, more wildfire, more droughts, why is the climate getting so crazy? Is planting trees the only solution? What makes a building green? Cement is one of mankind's great inventions. It's cheap, hardness and safety. It's an important material for modern construction, for building cities quickly. It makes buildings to take different shapes and for different functions. Let's imagine by 2060, the total global building stock increase per year is equivalent to one New York City. But sadly, the entire life cycle of a building creates a lot of carbon, a greenhouse gas that everyone knows. Since the first industrial revolution, global warming has caused widespread rapid and intensifying changes. Unprecedented changes have not been seen for thousands or even millions of years. Here, about 100 meters and 30 stories tall. In this case, about 6,000 tons of cement, making that cement probably emitted about 4,600 metric tons of carbon into the atmosphere. That's about the emissions from driving a car for 12 million miles. The building and climate so closely. And where the carbon comes from, coal and oil are the highest. Cement has about 10%. Earth's carbon concentration has reached the highest level in at least 2 million years. Increased greenhouse gases putting the Earth's energy flow out of balance. Since 1970, the different parts of the climate system absorb the extra energy, 91% absorbed by the oceans. If temperatures continue to rise, the Earth's climate is getting worse, and natural disasters will also rise. Just as we were editing this video, the Texas wildfires and Toronto storms appeared in the news. Tonight, howling winds and thick smoke filling the skies in the Texas panhandle with four major wildfires burning out of control. A couple of strikes on the CN Tower as that heavy rain and that heavy system moved through the... Th Climate models indicate, even if we start reducing greenhouse gas emissions now, Warming won't stop until at least 2050, because human activities cannot be stopped immediately. For these reasons, designers utilize the ecology of urban architecture to design a series of buildings which can reduce the carbon emissions. Is this architecture the shape of our future? Milan, Italy, a prototype biodiversity building it is known as the Vertical Forest. In 2006, designer Stefano Buri proposed the idea of vertical forests to alleviate the environmental problems of urbanization. It is one of the world's most iconic examples of green design, 111 meters and 27 stories high. First of all, it looks green the pair of Milan towers, total of 800 trees and 20,000 smaller plants, equivalent to three hectares of forest. These trees remove some of the heat from the city, absorb carbon dioxide, provide homes for birds and insects, and they look pretty too. In order to support plant growing and ensure the safety of the building, 
Increasing the structural dimensions of the building is necessary. A central control system for plant watering. Plant maintenance is operated by manual suspension. In 2017, Stefano Buori proposed a radical proposal for a forest city to combat urban pollution. I just want to say, are you sure? Countries such as Japan, Singapore, and China are following the example of such buildings. In the WHBC report mentioned, planting on buildings has a cost. That is extra building materials used in the construction process. Seem to increase the benefits, but increase the emissions actually. If this is being explored as an ecological aspect, it may be better seen as an urban phenomenon that breaks out of the square box landscape. Forest cover is increasing globally. The results of NASA's observations are unbelievable. Carbon emissions did not decrease from 2006 to 2020. What does it mean? In fact, plants may cannot absorb as much CO2 as imagined each tree absorbing 10 kilograms of CO2 per year. On the other hand, forests are not absorbing carbon, but emitting. And 10 of the world's protected forests are emitting more carbon than they are locking up. The obvious example is the California giant sequoias threatened by wildfires. California's giant sequoias can live for thousands of years, but scientists say they've rarely seen the kind of intense fires that have swept the state in recent years. The KNP complex fire is just 11% contained. Green building is obviously a confusing term. It's not just being full of plants. That is environmentally friendly. Carbon emissions from buildings are a chain, and we must do something to control the source. This includes 28% from building operations and 11% from building materials and construction. In short, green building is an environmentally friendly building. It includes the building's whole life cycle. Green is a mindset, a deeper understanding of development and maximizing value creation. While there are still challenges in decarbonizing buildings, Efficient zero-carbon buildings can reduce emissions using existing low-cost technologies. Vertical forest in Milan, applying deep ecology to passively reduce CO2. Bloomberg's new London building to actively reduce carbon emissions during operations through technology. Bespoke integrated ceiling panels combine air supply Cooling, lighting, and acoustic functions in an innovative petal leaf design. The panels were prefabricated off site to reduce construction site wastage. This is a complex process of innovation, as multiple co functions have to be brought together. Integrated ceiling technology saves not only installation time, and more importantly, the building materials. 500,000 LED lights can save 40% of electricity. When ambient weather conditions are temperate, the building's distinctive bronze blades can open and close, allowing the building to operate in a breathable, natural ventilation mode, reducing dependency on mechanical ventilation. Rainwater from the roof cooling tower blowdown water, and gray water sources is captured, treated and recycled to serve vacuum flush toilets. Global floor space is expected to double by 2060, but only 3% of new building investment will be green and efficient. As a result, decades of high emissions are a foregone conclusion. The renovation rate of existing buildings is only 1%, far less than a third of the rate needed to meet the Paris climate goals. In the field of urban planning and design, 
it is important to find a combination between nature and technology.